السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ تعالی وبرکاتہ انگلوڈیا بلالیا ڈالی اٹرسٹر چینل مکل کانا مارکم سمن دمانا پلا ویڈیو کلی ویڈیو ڈی گرے لے انگل سیئے وینڈیا ونڈر ادر کی کیلے اللہ سبسکری بٹنے مٹنے پر سید ویٹے ادنے تولرد ادن کارہی رولا بیل سیمبلے ایم پر سید ویٹال انگلوڈیا اللہ وی دمانا ویڈیو کلوم انگلوڈیا نوٹفیکسنی لے بند ویڈو السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ تعالی وبرکاتہ اللہم صلی و سلم و کرم علی رسول سیدنا و نبینا قررت آئیننا و حادینا و مرشدنا و مربینا و مولانا و من جانا محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم و علی آلہ و اصحابہ المعین الی یوم الدین مبا The name of Allah the most gracious and merciful All praise is been for him An uncounted peace and blessings be upon our most beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam The master of two worlds, the Jahangi Sarkar or Sardar, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam And also upon his companions who sacrificed their whole life till their death only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I am very much excited to meet you here I am here to give a short explanation about the knowledge of unseen I am here to prove that Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is fulfilled with the knowledge of unseen which is called as ilmul ghaib Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made this knowledge of unseen invisible from the eyes of mankind Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made a screen between them so a human will never ever be able to find the knowledge of unseen Allah gave this knowledge of unseen this is called as ilmul ghaib to our prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to all other prophets of this world Allah made this possible to our Prophet by revealing the Quran upon our Prophet So, first, the first thing we need to know is what is in the Quran? Is everything is in the Quran? Oh yeah, sure, everything is in the Quran as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran Surah Al-Anam 59th Ayah وَلَا رَضْمِينَ وَلَا يَابِسِنْ إِلَّا فِيَا بِتْ كِتَابِ الْمُبِينَ Not which and not die except in the book of manifestation that is the things which are read and all the things which are read is presented in the book of manifest in the Quran we need to understand that the knowledge of this world the knowledge of past, present and future is presented in the Holy Quran so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave this Quran to Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam it means Allah gave the knowledge of unseen which is called as ilmul khayr in the hands of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the structure of a book so now we understand that Allah gave Allah fulfilled our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with the knowledge of unseen which is called as ilmul ghaib but there are some who say that prophet doesn't have the knowledge of unseen prophet doesn't have any ilmul ghaib they prove this by the, by the ayat قُلْ لَا عِنِّي خَزَائِنُ اللَّهِ وَلَا أَعْلَمُ الْغَيْبَ that is Allah says prophet you say that you don't have the treasure of Allah and you don't know the knowledge of unseen the two meaning we need to understand is I don't have the knowledge of unseen before Allah gives me, before Allah reveals me. See, the main matter we need to understand here is, what is ilm al -ghayb? There are two types of ilm. First, ilm al and two, ilm al Ilm al is such a knowledge which Allah gives to all the prophets of this world. And ilm al is such a knowledge which Allah, which is already there without the giving of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this ilm is such a knowledge which only Allah has and all the creatures of this world will doesn't have this ilm and this ilm is such a knowledge which Allah gives to all the prophets of this world and all the malaikas and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave this ilm to a prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he gave the ilm al-ghaib to a prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by the ilm al -tai. So now we understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fulfilled our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with the knowledge of unseen, with the knowledge of the past, present and future and with the knowledge of the, and the day of judgment that is called ilm al -ghayb. So there are, there are five things which Allah says only Allah has the knowledge of it. Allah says in the Holy Quran إِنَّ اللَّهَ عِنْدَهُ عِلْمُ السَّعَدِ وَنَزُّلِ الْغَيْثَ وَيَعْلَوْ مَا فِلَ رَحَامِ وَمَا تَذِ النَّسُنْ بِ مَا تَذَكْفِ بُخَدَى وَمَا تَذِ النَّسُنْ بِيَيَّ عَرْضٍ تَمُوتُ 
That is Allah says in the Holy Quran, Inna Allah inda wa ilmu sa'ad. And sure, what the Allah has the knowledge of the day of judgment. But there is a hadith that Umar radiallahu ta'ala who says, I am sitting between sahabas with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. A man came wearing a white dress and he sat near Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in a manner that faisana rukubadihi ila rukubadihi. He jointed his knees with the knees of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and started asking questions to Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is, Ya Rasulullah, what is Islam, Ya Rasulullah? Man Islam, Ya Rasulullah, what is Islam? Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave a clear answer. Ya Rasulullah, Man Iman, Ya Rasulullah, what is Iman? Then Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave answer for this question. Then third, Ya Rasulullah, Man Ihsan, Ya Rasulullah, what is Ihsan? Prophet gave a clear answer. Then fourth question, Ya Rasulullah, Man Sa'ad, Ya Rasulullah, what is the day of judgment? Prophet said, Man Mas'ul Anha, Mi A'lamu Min As-Sa'id, that is the one who gets asked question, it's not well known from the one who is asking question. Then after that the person turned, then Sahabas asked Ya Rasulullah, who was the person Ya Rasulullah? Then Prophet said, it was Jibreel alayhi salatu was salam. That is the Prophet said that, Jibreel alayhi salam, you know well about the day of judgment. But Allah said, when the Allah has the knowledge of the day of judgment, it means Allah gave the ilmul ghayb to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam by the ilma ghayb. Then two, wa yunazilul ghaysa, that is only Allah had been descends the rain and only Allah has knowledge of rain. But in Surah Yusuf for the day ayat, Yusuf alayhi salam says that بَعْدَ ذَلِكَ عَامٌ فِيهِ يُغَاسُ النَّاسِ Then after that there will be a year which will rain and the people will be comforted. So Yusuf alayhi salatu salam had the knowledge of rain and which and when rain will come. But Allah said, only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had the knowledge of rain. And here Yusuf alayhi salatu salam had the knowledge of rain. It means Allah gave the ilmul ghaib to the Prophet Yusuf alayhi salatu salam by the ilmi atai. Then third, وَيَا عَلَمُ مَا فِي الْعَرْحَامِ Only Allah knows the knowledge of the warm. Only Allah has knowledge of what is presented in the stomachs of pregnant ladies. But in this period, all the doctors have the knowledge of it because Allah gave a small part of knowledge to them. Then fourth, وَمَا تَذِرْ نَرْسُونَ مَا دَا تَكْفِي بُخَدَا Any soul doesn't know what they will gain tomorrow. But there is a hadith that Prophet said, لَأُعْتِينَ رَعَيْتَ رَجُنًا يَفْتَوَ اللَّهُ عَلَىٰ يَدَيْهِ وَحَارِي مُسْلِمُ Prophet ﷺ said, I will give flag to a person, Allah gave success to his hands. That is, Prophet ﷺ gave the flag to a person and Allah gave success from his hands. That is, Ali ﷺ said, So Prophet ﷺ announced what is going to happen tomorrow before. So Prophet said about tomorrow, but Allah says, only Allah has knowledge of tomorrow. It means Allah gave the knowledge of ilmul ghaib to the Prophet ﷺ by the ilm ya ta'i. Then five, وَمَا تَدْرِ نَفْسٌ بِهَيْ عَرْضِ الْتَمُودِ Any soul doesn't know about the death and where they will die. There is a hadith that Ana Masih ibn Malik r.a. who says that, فَسَعَدَ نَبِي صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ سَمِلَى وَحَدْ Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم claimed in the mountain وحد وَمَعْهُ Abu Bakr wa Umar wa Uthman and Abu Bakr r.a. and Umar wa Uthman r.a. where the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم claiming on the mountain وحد فَسَعَرَ فَبِهِمْ and suddenly it started shaking فَغَرَبُ بِرِجْلِهِ He stepped his foot on the mountain and said that Uthbati Ahad, Uhad be silent. فَمَا عَلَيْكَ إِلَّا نَبِيٌّ وَصِدِّقٌ وَشَهِدًا And there is nothing upon you except a prophet and Siddiq and Shahidah. There is two souls going to die in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam announced about future before. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam what is going to happen tomorrow he announced before. But Allah said any soul doesn't know which is going to die in which place. But Prophet said about their death. It means Allah gave the knowledge of ilmul ghaib, the knowledge of unseen to our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with the ilmi atai. So we understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fulfilled our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the master of two worlds, with the knowledge of unseen which is called as ilmul ghaib, with the knowledge of the past, present and future, with the knowledge of the day of, the day of judgment. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us tawfiq to believe what we have here and to know and to do amal from what we have known. So with this, I will my speech with salam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.